Now, I know what you're probably thinking. You're probably thinking, K-Mac, you look incredibly handsome today. First of all, thank you. Um, that's, that's probably not what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, K-Mac, is Tavon Austin any good? The answer is absolutely yes. 92 speed. I do have the plus one speed on him. We'll talk about that in just a second. Route running at 90 for short, 91 for deep. 85 for medium route running is certainly a little bit low. But again, if you play all Madden, if you play ranked head to head or Mutt Champs or the Gauntlet, 85 is the threshold. So he's going to run all of his routes just fine as you would expect him to. If you play normal head to head, all pro, the thresholds there are 90. So he's not going to run or cut very well on those intermediate routes. So a small problem there, depending on what mode you play. Another small problem here, literally, is he's five foot eight. I mean, I am taller than Tavon Austin. 185 on top of it. I feel like with 53 strength, he might be pretty likely to fumble. You're gonna have to hopefully make some people miss or just give yourself up. But 92 speed, 92 acceleration. Again, good route running, good catching. 86 carries, actually pretty high. High change of direction. The spin move and juke move are both at 90 as well. This card is really, really good. I mean, plus it's Tavon Austin. He has probably the dopest highlight reel in college football history. I mean, how can you not absolutely love this guy? Now, I'm not using any abilities on my wide receiver. I'm still using Gunslinger on my quarterback for all four AP. I'll show you the team in just a second, but he does get some pretty interesting abilities here. Slot Apprentice, Outside Apprentice. He gets Slotomatic for three AP. He gets Jukebox, Human Joystick, Red Zone Threat. So, Definitely some intriguing options here. I just feel like with the AP limit only being four, I don't know why they haven't raised it yet. There's no real reason to use any of these unless you're just playing for fun, but competitively, it doesn't make sense. Now, the reason I have plus one speed on tape on Austin is because I have a 20 out of 20 Jacks theme team. I have a 20 out of 20 Patriots theme team, and then I have a nine out of nine team of the week theme team as well. So a triple hybrid here. And the big reason why I built the Jacks theme team was for Brian Thomas, 94 speed. Look at these stats. This is not a 90 overall. It's not even a 92 overall, which is what it says he is after the boost. This feels like a 94 or 95 overall card. Plus he's six foot three just disgusting plus apparently it's been leaked that there's an ltd evan ingram coming out at tight end next week so that'll be a nice addition to the jags theme team as well dk metcalf every team camp tape on austin obviously fred taylor and tank bigsby are both jaguars as well i'm using andrew luck right now with gunslinger at quarterback and then over on defense i just picked up this new cam chancer i'm thinking about switching from pats to seahawks actually 90 speed here 90 zone 91 hit power six foot three cam chancer should be absolutely insane and then i also picked up this fred warner for 2.5 million coins a september player of the month doesn't get the team of the week boost for some reason even though he's a team of the week card ea i don't know 91 speed 87 hit power 92 zone 91 play rec six foot three just a disgusting card and he should be for his price playbooks real quick eagles on offense bucks on defense i just dropped my eagles ebook last week teamgetlucky.com again i'm not taking gambling sponsorships so do me a favor go get the ebook and i don't have to explain this to you again we're playing ranked yesterday i was inside the top 100 we still are i was in the 70s yesterday though we've slid all the way back to 94 60 and 10 is our current record at the moment so let's go ahead and jump into some games they made the matchmaking for this mode incredibly strict. Last season, season one, it was a complete free-for-all. This time, you're almost guaranteed to match up with like a competitive player every single time. If you're anywhere near the top division or especially top 100, as you guys can see, like we've been searching for a game for 20 seconds already in the afternoon, the day of a big promo drop. So like it's pretty strict. I'm actually extremely excited to try out both Brian Thomas and Tavon Austin. My opponent is sending some heat here. Tavon Austin to start. What in the college football 25 is this game right here? <laughs> Dude, the run game sucks. I'm not even worried about this remotely. Please, I hope this is your whole offense. All right, so... It doesn't look like it's going to be his offense. He's going from bunch to bunch wide here. A lot of people like this uh, return route, trail route right there from the tight end, actually. And Micah Parsons said 
Fuck your play. Top just going to come in completely free off the edge. Even though I believe he blocked his running back there. Uh, that is the nature of the double A gap defense. They said they patched it last week. They did patch your ability to crash down and disengage through the A gap. However, I got to call a timeout here with the auto motion. However, they made it so that the offensive line like squeezes now to pick up like the random disengages. And then because of that, the pressure comes from the outside now. So like guys will randomly come in free. I'm still not really sure what makes them actually do it. I think it's just random. Um, I don't know, but it is, it's back. Like the defense is 100% back. I know people won't like that. And I don't know if I like it, to be honest with you. I mean, that's really good defense. That's really... To sacked himself out of field goal range there as well. Thank you, CTJ. I appreciate you. Especially after we fumbled in the first fucking play with Tavon Austin, by the way. I know I didn't really have much of a reaction in the moment, but like I'm actually pissed about that. Maybe I shouldn't be because I said earlier that like there was probably a pretty good chance he would fumble and, and first play. I mean, what are the chances? And we'll just send like seven seven people and then Gonzo on a Pats theme team is just like the best defensive back in the game still. Even though he came out like two months ago, it seems like. The dude's just a god. Plus, you know, maybe I'm a little biased. But maybe I'm not. I mean, look, look at him making plays out there with pick artists. Still one of the only DBs, one of the only corners in the game that gets pick artists. I am calling the wrong play. Hopefully it works. Post, open, beautiful. I've had better starts on offense. You know, I, me personally, I don't, I feel like I'm, uh, you know what? <laughs> don't blame your team. You are the team. You are the team, K-Mac. A lot of people are using this Isaiah Simmons. He's six foot four, 90 speed. You got him for free by watching the competitive Madden championship last night. I have him. I just feel like Fred Warner and Barton are just as good, if not better than him. Um, and, and they both get the team of the week. Well, Fred doesn't, but Fred is better. Barton is like arguably slightly worse, if not just as good, maybe arguably better. But he gets the team of the week boost. And again, you need nine of those guys to get the plus two speed to everybody who gets the boost. So obviously, Brian Thomas gets a huge benefit from that. So I think I'm just going to stick with Barton for now. And then next week, Andrew Luck, come on, baby. And then next week, when the team of the week, the current team of the week players lose their boost on Wednesday, I'll go back to Simmons. Friendly quit. Did First of all, why is this a feature in the game? Second of all, have some fucking pride as a man. Uh, a friendly quit after you give up a touchdown? That's the problem with this generation. Just quit out the first time, dude. All right, this guy is definitely going to be sweaty. He's in show blitz dollar running crossfire. Dude, holy shit. Is that mean Joe Green? Double or nothing is absolutely insane at defensive tackle. Like, it randomly just rips through your center right there. That was terrifying. I don't know how we didn't get intentional grounding, just to be honest with you. But I'm cool with it. Typically against this... He shed it again, bro. He shed it again instantly. Typically, what I'll do against this blitz is I will double team the defensive tackle... Well, not the defensive tackle. The defensive end on the left side of my screen. And uh, even though the run game is pretty bad here, I mean, this defense is, is not very good run defense, especially if they're not expecting it. All right, so let's keep doing that. I think he only has this for a limited number of plays, probably four. So this is the last play for now. He'll get it back later. He just user pressed my wide receiver. And that calf's going to be gassed. He was already tired pre-play. That's a big thing I definitely recommend a lot of, like, beginner players. Not even, like, even high-level players. They don't check the stamina of their players. They're going to run at worse routes. They're way more likely to fumble. They're not going to fight and fall forward for you. You always want your guys pretty much full stamina. Like, you're just hurting yourself if they aren't. Tavon, nice hands, baby. Way to catch it in traffic. So he's going to just try to press my slot every time, which is kind of just nasty business. Misses him that time. Oh, 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 I missed the read. Brian Thomas. That is a laser. Beautiful animation. I think I make that read a quarter of a millisecond later, and, and we don't get our feet in bounds. I made it too late, to be honest. It wasn't even supposed to be open. But I guess in hindsight, he's 94 speed. Like, that's why we built the Jags theme team. So, I guess it makes sense. Maybe I need to look at that uh, at, at that route first every single time before I look elsewhere. Yeah, I mean, every, 
I mean, I feel like I say this every video, but everybody plays exactly the same, right? They run Gun Bunch, and then they audible around a little bit, and then they run Show Blitz Dollar. I mean, that's accurate. That's a pick. I mean, you're trying to pick artist, bro. I was going to say, my corners are starting to become a little outdated. Porter and Gonzo, both 89 speed, which isn't slow by any means, right? But a lot of these receivers are starting to be 91, 92. My Brian Thomas is 94 speed, so... Again, these guys are starting to become a little outdated. So I'm a little worried about them getting burned possibly over top. I tried to switch stick to it. I accidentally switched the outside corner at first, and I kind of messed up the, uh, the whole play there. Warden. We give up bait here. I mean, this guy's not playing any differently than, you know, again, everybody else that we play online. So I'm just going to keep uh, switching shells, trying to guess right. It seems like he's more than willing to utilize a big portion of his playbook here. You don't typically see people audibling it to gun doubles. We got really lucky right there. I accidentally switched it to the outside guy as well, and that dig route on the right side was a wide open touchdown. The cool thing about the double mug, I feel like, is people not necessarily are forced to block the running back, but they're much more likely to block the running back compared to pretty much any other defense in the game at the moment. Screw! Michael Parsons, I think he might have came in free right there. I mean, that was so fast that he, he had to have. Fourth and 14. I would just kick my three if I were you, buddy. I mean, Michael Parsons is going to be revving his engine right here, ready to get after the quarterback. We'll use Fred Warner here. I got Lurk Artist on him. Let's shade up and down, get Cloud Flats on the field. That way we're not giving up any out routes. And we'll be taking that off your hands. Cam Chancer, six foot three. Go up and get it, baby. First. I mean, not really the first game. Technically the first game for, for Cam Chancellor, right? Last game was literally just a quarter. Okay, he messed up his defense here. He backed everybody up. We got Fred out of the backfield. Gronk, beautiful block. I actually need to sub him out. Uh, we need Metcalf back out there. Although Gronk, nice play. Nice play. I'm going to do something very attention-seeking here and call a halfback slip screen. Never doing that ever again. I mean, it, like, the guy just sat on it. Like, he literally just sat on it. Expect, like... <laughs> Alright, dude. Like, hey, Mac, what are we doing here, buddy? Let's. This is ranked. There, this is ranked. There's, like, a 10 million coin card if you get top 100. It's time to... Time to lock in. I think I might have had the seam to tape on Austin there, but... I mean, I don't think this guy knows what he's doing, bro. He's pressing, backing off, pressing, backing off. No. I mean, come on, how unlucky is that? I mean, how unlucky is that? I don't know what, what takes this guy so long in every play. Like, he's just really thinking about the route combo. Like, that's a lot of time to cock back and, and throw some bullshit, frankly, into, like, double coverage. But I can tell that this guy just watches Henry play and, and you know, thinks that he can do the same thing on offense. He's not comfortable. He's taking so long pre-play every single time, not making great reads. He, he seems very indecisive. It's like I'm, like, reading his body language almost, although I, I don't, I can't actually see him, but I'm tempted to take a timeout. Okay, we're good. I mean, can he just glitches? Okay. That's so frustrating. Oh, what, a, what a load of fucking shit. Called a terrible play, made a bad read, and gets a first down because the game is broken. All right, I'm complaining. I mean, it's, like, that's, I feel like that's a valid thing to complain about, though. Like, that's been in the game since the start of the year, and they haven't fixed it yet. There's been, like, three patches. That's why I hate when people audible and flip so much because, like, that's really what triggers it. Come here, bitch. Now, I'm getting angry. I'm about to get toxic, boys. I'm about to actually get toxic. And you know what? I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm actually angry. I'm going to switch stick to the left, take away the corner route. Thank you. Thank you. The ball doesn't lie. Dante Fowler, Jags theme team, 91 speed. You're, hey, you're slow ass ain't catching me, Rodriguez. Come here. Come, come get me. Ah. Feels good right there. That's a little karma. That's a little karma. I mean, dude, I've just never seen a guy play this slow in my life. Like, I, you know, I'm not 18, 19 no more. I don't exactly move at the fastest pace ever either, but uh, this is excruciating. If I was streaming right now, I'd, I'd probably feel like the guy is just stream sniping, like waiting for me to show play art and everything, but I'm not, so that's not really an excuse. Maybe he's just chilling. You know, maybe he's just chilling, just got home from school or something. Just rolling up a J and just playing some Madden. Got this. Okay, I had one of the zigs. Didn't have both. 
All right, so he's audible into that tight set and going to Ziggs quite frequently. I think I'm going to play super aggressive and send six because he doesn't have a tight end on the line. I think we can generate a lot of pressure versus that look. So that's what I'm going to go to next time he goes to that. Let's just double hard flat both of our linebackers here to take away the Ziggs. Where are they? There's one. Okay, the hard flat did a terrible job of taking away that Zig. Holy shit, he had it wide open. Not worried about this. I got the seam manned up. Baited him. I baited him perfectly, and we dropped the pick with pick artists. Got the backside post. He goes out route? I don't think that was a throwaway. Yeah, he was just chucking a streak. That was completely covered by a six foot three safety. Not the best idea there, buddy. But again, these dudes who are sweats online that aren't, you know, top tier pro players, they're just robots. They're literally just robots. They don't know what they're actually doing. They just they just run the meta. They don't really adjust out of it. And as long as you know how to counter it, you're gonna give these people absolute hell. You might not win every game. Sometimes they might, you know, make some nice plays and they might get lucky, but I'm not losing to robots. It just it just doesn't happen. In order to beat me, I feel like you got to use your brain a little bit or just get absurdly lucky, right? <laughs> one, one of the two. Ah, good play right there. Tried to force something into field goal range. Got a little bit too greedy right there. Maybe I spoke too soon, but with no timeouts in 10 seconds, I'm not really worried about giving up a touchdown here. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not really concerned with giving up three either, to be honest. Like, he can have three. And he's going to be greedy here. Like, there's definitely a decent chance he just turns the ball over himself. Let's just run cover three, and I'm going to man up the outside wide receiver just in case he's on a wheel route out of verticals. I don't think he's going to call that. He's making too many hot routes, but just in case. He has a free play which sucks. But the smart thing here to do is, is just run out the clock. A lot of people will just give themselves up knowing they got a penalty, but waste the clock. That way he only has one play left. He's forced to take three. I mean, that's fine. Again, I, three doesn't do pretty much anything for him here. He hasn't really shown too much life in stopping me. Right, we threw the pick there, obviously, with, with the clock running out essentially like I, I feel like that's what stopped me so we're in a good spot here still going in the second half my end on the left is standing so far outside for some reason and we're watching the return route on the right and then watching the running back as well i think he's gonna block the running back i know i said i was gonna send pressure versus this last time but i lied dude come on how many hot routes can you fucking make buddy just dog shit combo too just went to it too many times i'm a smart player i like to think we adjust to it perfectly, and he's going to stay in the tight slots here. I'm going to send pressure this time. Yeah. 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 Oh, come on, Ward. I don't really know what to do when he goes to doubles here. I'm going to run, like, essentially a cover four. I'll man up the seam. I still have my hooks on, on five. I haven't changed them because I'm stubborn. And he just gets screamed at. Double A gap is still, like, the best defense in the game. I feel like he's not... I feel like he should be blocking his tight end instead of his running back, but I don't. the thought hasn't crossed his mind yet. Again, he's, he's kind of a robot. Let's shade inside and run man, send six here. I think he's I think he's going to be greedy here and probably send his tight end out. He should max protect and go like a... Hmm. I'm going to soft squat the right. I mean, I think that's my third D-line interception of the game. He just keeps getting screamed at. <laughs> Dante Fowler, master class game going on right now. Yeah, that's going to do it. That's how you just dismantle somebody running the meta. Like, it, it's just easy, man. It's it's so... Well, it's easy for me. I play the game for a living. Like, I, you know... I understand why people would struggle with it, though. I'm not, I'm not stupid. All right. So, typically, I like to run my trips to the wide side of the field. I've been toying with the idea lately of running it only to the left side. Okay, this guy's not very good at tackling. Honestly, this shit is usually really sweaty. But playing in the early afternoon, earlier in the day, as opposed to, like, the evening and night when I usually play, might be the move. Like, this this seems a lot easier. I mean, the last guy was pretty sweaty. Like, this guy has a good team. I, I don't know. It, it seems easier. But I've been toying with the idea of running my trips to the left always. It just seems like after the patch, again, the offensive line pinches, and the pressure comes from the outside versus various different formations, not just double mug. And I feel like sometimes when I flip my trips to the right side, that end, especially in a four down lineman set, just comes in free a lot. And it, and it doesn't happen when, you know, I have it the other way. That could be placebo. 
I don't think I have a great sample size, but it seems like that. So I've been toying with that idea. So something for you guys to pay attention to possibly as well if you're constantly getting screamed at. Yeah, I mean, the run game sucks, dude. Like, is this your first game of Madden 25 here? I'm on your guys' side, right? I realize that a lot of you guys are probably mostly casual, right? A lot of you guys, well, not a lot of you guys. Some of you guys might be really sweaty. Maybe not like high-level pro players. Maybe there are a lot of pros who watch this. I honestly don't know. But I'm on your side when I when I say I think the run should be way better than it is, right? Most pro players are probably notorious for being anti-run, thinking that Madden should be past every play, right gun bunch, flip it, audible, high ball, throw 60 yards down the field, cover three bomb every play. I, I think the run should be good. I think the run is absolutely pathetic right now. I think after what happened in Madden 20, where the run was incredibly overpowered and people were winning competitive tournaments using punters at quarterback, EA was like, yeah, I think we're done with the run game. I just hate that you can set up pass defense. You can even pass commit and stop the run a large majority of the time in this game. It's just such a non-factor. I feel like it takes a lot of strategy out of the game. Stopping the run, I feel like, is a skill gap. And then stopping the run, but also having pass defense just in case somebody does pass out of a run look, for example. I, I feel like a lot of the strategy in the game is taken out by running. And I know a lot of pro players are like, well, running doesn't take any skill, right? I also don't really agree with that. I, you know, Madden 20, the run game was crazy OP, but there was a huge knowledge gap and skill gap in stopping runs, knowing what gaps to shoot, uh, where to shift your defensive line, where to shift your linebackers. And again, that just doesn't exist in this game. It's something I, I really wish, something that I, I wish did exist because on top of it, these games are so incredibly long. These head-to-head -head games aren't crazy long anymore with the runoff that they just patched in the game earlier this week, a 40-second play clock and only four-minute quarters. But like gauntlet games where there's no runoff, 30-second play clock, five-minute quarters, play a friend games, competitive games are the same way. Those games can last easily over an hour just because people are passing every play it's hard to chew out games and possess the football and uh, clock out games if you have a big lead like it's easy to come back if somebody starts running because they're just wasting plays then they're passing on third or fourth and you know they're digging themselves possibly a hole in that situation so I don't like it I've been waiting for them to make it a little bit better this year. Unfortunately, I just don't think it's really even on their radar. Like, maybe they think it's fine. Maybe they just don't care. I'm not sure, but basically what I'm trying to say is I, I wish the run was better. And I know a lot of you guys probably wish it was too. Okay, so he's going five wide here. Let's just user Fred Warner. Run man coverage, and hopefully somebody makes a play. That's not bad. I don't know where my safety's going. Okay, maybe he knew that he was going to auto motion. Like, what the? What was that? He held on to that too i mean who even is that what does the name say on the back of the jersey who was that was it a running back at wide receiver or running back at tight end who is that oh it's tyreek McAllister. dude that card came out like two and a half months ago dope last name though <laughs> incredible last name i might i might add oh shit I mean, dude, you actually don't drop shit in this game. All right, dude, please just throw, just press the button, throw a pick, and let's just move on to the next game here. The other really cool thing about this offense is this post is absolutely, absolutely killer. Can't speak. It beats both man and zone coverage, and you can actually just dead ass. I'm putting y'all in game right now. I created this offense this year. I made it popular. The highest level pro players in the world are switching to this offense, or they're at least switching to the Lions playbook, where they have bunch and then also this formation. Fancy just won the second championship of the year, so he went back to back, and he switched to Lions and was running a ton of trips. That exact combo that I feel like I made popular this year, so. I'm just saying, I got the ebook, teamgetlucky.com again. You will carve up bots by just running that one play alone. And then you add in the other plays that I got in there as well. You can take down some really high-level players who are good on defense with just the easiest and most explosive offense in the game at the moment. It, it, it's amazing. Warden, come on, bro. You're like five speed. We went back to that fade route. I mean, we're just, I'm just saying, it, like, this guy is not comfortable. It doesn't really seem like he has, like, a dedicated scheme. You know, he's not a bad player. And there's nothing inherently wrong with calling ass Madden. 
it, it just tells me that you don't really have confidence in your scheme. You know what I mean? And I, I don't feel bad saying that. Ah, Porter with the pick artist, baby. Best ability in the game on defense. Yes, sir. I don't feel bad saying that because this is ranked. It's ranked. We're all competing for a 10 million coin Randall Cunningham. I'm, I'm going to be sweaty. That's just what I'm going to do. Thank you. Thank you. Champ Bailey. <laughs> they don't call him loser Bailey. <laughs> they call him Champ Bailey for a reason. <laughs> you know, at least he's not burning his timeouts. Like, he's he's being a good sport about it. So, I'm not too mad that he didn't quit. You know, maybe he was just trying to get better. You know, I don't think ranked is necessarily the... I mean, maybe it is. Who knows? You know, maybe, maybe my opinion is wrong on that. But at least he's not griefing me and calling all three of his timeouts. I appreciate this guy for that. GG's. And we'll move on to the next game where, again, hopefully it's a little bit closer. He's got the new LTD Chris Jones. He's got DK and Andrew Luck. And I saw a double, double or nothing on Chris Jones, which terrifies me. That's three AP. And obviously a lot of people use double or nothing in their dollar but they use the AKA version of it where it's like one AP, it's on for four plays, off for eight. He's going to have it as an ability, so it's on every play. If Chris Jones sacks me like three times this game, I think I might, uh... yeah, look at him. <laughs> look at him first play, Chris Jones. Yeah, this guy this guy had a good idea. I, I like the way he's thinking. That Chris Jones is probably pretty expensive. He, he came out today. It's a lot of AP. You could only run at double or nothing in one pick artist. But there he is again, Chris Jones, two plays in a row. There's like, I don't know how to do it, but like you can look at your resistance points and, and pass rush points. Uh, I had a touchdown. Damn, that slant was wide. He's running some match coverage right now. I, did he send the slot corner too, or did my pass pro just give up? I'm running the same. Okay, so I threw a pick. No, I didn't. Tavon Austin. <laughs> Not a great read right there by any means. Let's see if we can hit a baby out route to Austin. Otherwise, we're looking to Pitts or Taylor here. Yeah, we can. Tavon Austin, a beautiful play. He takes the hit stick, too, and stays on his feet. We love to see it. But again, I'm just double-teaming my left of screen end here. Got the Texas route open. Fred Taylor, nice hands. I would have ideally liked, liked to wait a little bit longer there and hit him. I think he would have been way more open, and we could have gotten some yards after catch there. But uh, he sends a different variation of the blitz where it comes off the edge. So he's doing a good job of mixing up his defense right now. He's getting good pressure. Chris Jones has slowed down a little bit. I think that double or nothing only works once he loads up his points. So, you know, we'll get some breathing room, you know, on some plays, and then it'll randomly just go crazy. I'm going to look to Austin or Pitts. Neither are open. Throw it away. Austin got open late, but I think he got stuck on his zone. Kind of bumped him off his route there. Hopefully he doesn't run crossfire this time. He doesn't. Yeah, Kyle Pitts, you're getting benched for the rest of the game. Let's bring out a real tight end here, Rob Gronkowski, because holy shit, that was actually the softest thing I've ever seen. Puts the crossfire blitz back out there. But let's go ahead and hit this smart routed out route to Brian Thomas. Time it perfectly, Brian Thomas. Beautiful, baby, beautiful. Big third down conversion there. Three-man rush here. A real tight end. That's a real tight end right there. Rob Gronkowski. Come on, baby. Fuck Kyle Pitts, man. Too soft. Too soft. Just like real life. Give me the greatest tight end of all time out there. He'll make some plays, even though his stats aren't as good. Got him on the Pats theme team, so, you know, he's he's almost as fast as Pitts. Not quite, but almost. All right, without cheating, guess what offense Juggernaut is in? Running show blitz dollar. Just take a wild guess. You guessed right. Gun bunch. Gun bunch strong. Sorry. Run our cover three shell here. Good play. Good play. AJ Brown corner route. This guy's got a really good team. And he's just highballing. That is the one. If you guys watch me on Twitch or even this channel, you guys know the bane of my existence is the highball. You can just chuck that shit. It's incredibly overpowered. There seems to be no counter for it. So if he keeps doing that all game, he's probably going to piss me off. But let's just stay composed here. Keep playing good defense. Not that we've played good defense yet, but we have been today. So that's, that's what I mean by that. He likes that trail concept. Rip it out. He likes that trail concept. He's kind of quick snapping me too. So I'm going to drop uh, one of my linebackers into a hook to take that away, hopefully. Now, this game is really laggy. Not a fan of this. 
All right, we got our adjustments off this time. Corner route right side. That's what I'm looking for here. Bar in. Fumble. Oh, come on, man. We're going to cover two shell on the right. Back off Gonzo. I think I'm making it a little too obvious by using my safety here and mugging the gap, but I don't really care. He was out route, but throws it way too early. The pressure burst his pipe. Overthrow? No, not even close. Uh, good switch stick there. I mean, I had to throw it early. I didn't want to even throw that, but Chris Jones. Chris Jones shed it instantly, and we're in a hole now. So the one thing about guys like this is they're going to be stubborn. They're going to give up. They're going to give up stuff that they don't want to give up, like the out route, for example. So we'll throw that a lot. Ryan Thomas, pick up an eight. We got to just make him respect that, right? It's hard to take that away when you're running this show blitz variant where the safeties are coming down and your slot corners are like a couple a couple yards off the line of scrimmage but kind of compressed. So that's what we're going to go to a few times. I'm not going to do it every play and, and get pick six, but we're going to look to that a lot more often and just make him respect it. Just by making him do that, I think we'll have a lot of success. And I think Brian Thomas here on a streak with 94 speed might just blow by his... No, he doesn't. We got Gronk, though. I keep thinking that Brian Thomas on a streak with the safety coming all the way into the box might be able to just blow by him, but he doesn't release off that line super quickly. Let's just go score here, try to make this the last drive, and it's basically a brand new game at a half. DK, nice catch. First down, beautiful. We're going to run the ball here on first again, trying to make this the last drive, or at least leave him like 20 seconds with one timeout, something like that, where he could possibly make a mistake. Well, let's run the ball here. 40-second play clock should be able to... Run this down and clock this pretty easily, I feel like. Plus, I feel like running the ball is actually a good idea for somebody like this. Just because with double or nothing, like, you know, we might be using up some of those pass rush points when we run. I don't know exactly how that works, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe an idea. I don't know if that's actually how it works, but it is a theory. I feel like he should burn his timeout right now, but he's not going to. So we're going to shoot clock again. Go under center here. Run stretch left. Stay away from Cam Chancellor because that dude is terrifying. He just hit stick me. Thank God Fred Taylor hung on to that. Shout out to him. He might blitz his outside corner, but honestly, I don't even care. I'm just trying to run the clock here. He doesn't. Fred Taylor. Let's go down here. Let's go down here. These are the plays you just kind of have to make here um, if you want to get back in the game, right? If we're down a stop, we can make up. We can make up for one stop with great clock management. Having the ball last before half, having the ball last at the end of the game. It can make up for a full stop without you even getting one back. So that's really what we're trying to do here. Trying to be a smart player. And he's definitely going to blitz his outside corner here. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to motion Thomas over. Let him set. Hopefully he picks up the outside corner there, which I think is Porter. Doesn't pick him up. It was the right idea. It just didn't work. We had two plays to get in the end zone now. Let's run this down under 10 seconds. He's in dollar here. I mean, I could run. I'm not going to, though. Got the flat. Tavon Austin. Come on, baby. It wouldn't be a Tavon Austin video without a big-time Tavon Austin touchdown before half. Can't manage it any better than that. Good tackle. I mean, I, I got caught looking at my computer there. Holy shit. And I had, I had my backup safety, Andre Sisko, in. And then Beanie Bishop, who's like an 80 overall as well. Holy smokes. Got caught with my pants down there for a second. All right. Basically a brand new ball game. Obviously, he has the ball. So still not in a great spot here. But definitely way better than we were a couple minutes ago after we threw a pick six. He's going to run the rock, too. How did that work so well? I didn't even pass him it. Come on, Cam. Tavon, Tavon, oh, he's gliding. Oh my God, he's gliding. Do not get this edge. Oh, Tavon, oh my God, he is moving out there with the 92 speed. What a play. I thought he'd get like 10 yards there. Ends up getting like a million. I went to Arizona State. I can't do math, so I'm just going to say an outrageous number and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you guys get the point. Okay, can I set up my pass pro, please? It wasn't working there for a second. Again, we're at, we're at D in the outside corner here. As long as he stays away from crossfire, which he goes to right here, of course, because why wouldn't he? Good play. Good play. It seems like the 
the uh, the idea of the outside corner actually does a pretty good job versus both variations, so I'll stick with that. Probably get screamed at here, but that's life. Brett Taylor again having a nice game. He's got great hands. Great hands. Trust me, I would know firsthand. Something like this. Backside dig. Beautiful. I love this. I love this right here. I love this right here. Little possession catch. Thought that was a touchdown, but you know it's cool. It's cool. I didn't want. I didn't, yeah. I, I didn't want to score anyway, because I want. I want to get Tank Bigs. Ooh, actually no. I forgot. I just upgraded a Koye to an 89 overall. It says he's a 91 power back. We're gonna give the rock to a Koye, and we're gonna go right here. We're gonna go right here, Koye. Oh, oh, oh. Lowers his shoulder. I made the right decision. Powering this man up. That was beautiful. That's hard-nosed physical football man that's the shit i love to see that's the shit i love to see man i'm getting fired up right now i'm actually getting fired up i love it akoya come on if i get burned on the inside zone i get burned on the inside zone but i i'm gonna stand by the fact that he just got lucky like that was fluke and i i feel like that proves i'm right he wasted a play which is the good news we got to watch for y trail we know it's coming come here what Bro, how did he get through there? What the? That was insane. What are you throwing, though? You're throwing a pick. He, he literally just runs tr trail out of two different bunch formations. That's that's literally the offense here. Quick snap me again. And just presses a button. I mean, this game stinks, dude. Like, this game's really bad. Like, how is that caught? That That's just a terrible play. It's a terrible read. It's a terrible decision. We played good defense. We Like, how is that being caught? That's fucking Cam Chancellor hitting him, too. I mean, I'm, I'm running the same defense every play. Like... Good read. I mean, yeah. Good read. I might be trying to milk this, but you can't. Like, you're you're not gonna milk this, dude. It's good D. Gonzo all over him. Almost got back there with the user as well. Stops the clock, which is huge. Third and twelve here. Just get him to fourth down. Screamer, come on, baby. Let's go, Micah. I mean, fourth and twenty. He literally has to kick here. He has to kick. If he goes for it, he is just brain dead. Okay. He's got a little bit of a brain. A little bit of a brain here. He's going to kick his three. And we got a chance to walk this man down. Walk him down and score. And I'm not going to be too cute with the clock. I mean, if the touchdown is there, I'm going to take it because we, we, you know, we'd have a four-point lead. He'd still have to score. And I feel like we're playing good defense right now. We, we've got this guy figured out. I am a little bit worried about Chris Jones, though. So hopefully he doesn't shed. We pick him up pretty well this time. We got Gronk. Typically in that situation right there, I like pass leading down, right, away from the safeties as opposed to maybe going left, which is a bit more intuitive because, you know, we're more likely to overthrow the ball. He could switch stick and, and break on it easier. I feel like pass leading down is being more conservative. We might be giving up a few yards after the catch, but we're, we're way less likely to be switch sticked or to overthrow the football in that situation. So I think that's the right idea. We'll hit our drag here. Brian Thomas, go down. Definitely don't want to fumble. We'll turn two clock on as well. Do not put this in the hands of the Madden gods. Put this in your hands, K-Mac. Let's look up the seam here. He goes and plays the seam, which means he gives up the drag. Gronkowski making huge plays for us. He should call timeout here. He does. Good play by him. But this is an obvious run situation. You would think that he would expect that and go to a different formation than Dollar, but he doesn't. And I'm actually going to run again if he's in Dollar. I think he's going to expect it this time. He might even go to 6-1 here. He does, and he stays in Dollar. So I'm going to make a bunch of fake hot routes and try to get him off of the fact that I might run the ball. I don't think he expected it. Can we get the first down? Third and three? What? Am I in shrooms? Th third and three? Metcalf. Wow, that would have been a really tough catch. He's got his hooks on, on five or zero, so he's playing super aggressive. We obviously have to go for this. We do have three timeouts just in case we do get stopped, but I'm not going to get stopped here. We're going to a different formation. I'm drawing up my best play, and hopefully Chris Jones doesn't ruin my game. It's the only thing that can stop me in this situation. Knock on wood. I actually knocked on my wood desk, so he will not get pressure here. We're looking to the slant or the return route. 
We got him. Gronk, I don't want to score. 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 He switch sticked off for some reason. I don't know. Maybe, I think maybe the slant got open, and that's why he went to it. But I had to float right. There's no way I can even make that throw just because he was getting pressure with Micah Parsons there. So he, he switch sticks off of the guy when he had him. Just a huge mistake by him, and it benefits us big time. We make the right read under pressure, which is beautiful. Uh, but now we're in a really tough situation still. 56 seconds, no timeouts. It's not easy for him, but it's also not easy for us. You know, it's, it's a difficult situation for the both of us. We got to just make a tackle here. Oh, my God. That's got to be a fumble. I mean, that is Barton coming through delivering the fucking boomstick. I love that, baby. Come on. We just need a sack. We need a sack or, like, a quick, you know, eight-yard play in bounds. I love this. Micah Parsons is going crazy for us in the second half. Come on, baby. He should get a runoff here, too. He does. I think he had shoe clock on, boys. Man up the tight end. Ah, shit. I, I got the tight end myself. I got the tight end myself. I had him manned up. I should have shaded outside. That one's on me. We're still in a good spot, though. We're still in a great spot here. I don't like sending six versus this look, but I'm going to. He's got the corner out. I think he had the fade on the right wide open. Hopefully, this doesn't match. I'm going to shade down with zone drops on, so it shouldn't match. I'm not going to make any promises, but it shouldn't match. He's got no timeout, so I'm just going to drag my guys out. 30-yard flats, protect the sidelines. Oh, boy. I switched. I mean, dude, it's that... It, I should have taken a timeout, bro. It's that fucking bullshit where they flip and the guy just, like, it starts running circles and jogging across the field and it happened again and I should have just taken a timeout. But, like, I don't know how to avoid that, bro. Maybe I should just turn auto... Ah, I should have played man coverage or something there and sent six. Or I, That was just the worst possible defense I could have ran in that situation. So bad by me. But the game is just so broken, too. Like, it, it it's 100... Well, it's like 95% my fault, bro. The game is so fucking broken. I hate that. I... God, God, that pisses me off so much, man. I shouldn't have lost this game. Wow. It makes no sense to me how we're giving up corner routes there on, the, on that either. It, like, it's just ridiculous. I got 30-yard flats. I got him backed off, and we're just getting corner routed to death. Damn, bro. That's frustrating. Wow. I actually had him. <laughs> I actually had him for a touchdown. I mean, I can't really expect my quarterback to throw that on a, on a dime all the way down the field. That was actually a touchdown. Like, maybe if I had Bazooka activated... That would be crazy. It's just like how, like, how are we giving this up, man? This is so bad. Like, dude, look. He flips, and I, my, my slot corner is not even across the, the center, basically, at this point. After I flip. So I have to click onto him, and then I switch stick, thinking I was going to get this guy right here. And I accidentally get the safety. So you guys can see, like, I obviously thought I got the linebacker because I turn around and start running the other way. <sighs> yeah, this, this game is so broken in that regard. That's not the first time I brought that up. I don't even think it's the first time I brought it up this episode. But, yeah, hopefully they fix that at some point. But that, that was just bad defense by me. God damn it.